in a busy and fast-paced life where productivity matters imagine how hard it is to deal with low back pain and shooting pain or numbness in your legs this will interfere with your work things that you do in your household and even on the activities that you love doing if you have these symptoms, you might be suffering from sciatica. But the good news is, I can help you. You don't have to experience these bothersome symptoms. Watch until the end of this video and learn what you can do at home to manage this condition safely and effectively. Greetings to everyone. This is Doc Sherry, Doctor of Physical Therapy. Do you have low back pain and then you also feel numbness, tingling sensation, or shooting pain, and even weakness in one of your legs? You might be suffering from sciatica. Sciatica actually is very common. It is said to affect about 10 to 40% of the general population with men being more affected than women. And mind you, 90% of these cases is because of an affectation of your intervertebral disc. Although sciatica is very common, others really are not yet fully aware of what sciatica really is, and they are clueless on what they can do at home to make them feel better. In this video, I will teach you tips and three easy to follow exercises that you can do at the comfort of your own home to help you manage your symptoms conservatively. If you're new here to my channel, please click the subscribe and the bell button so you will be updated with my latest videos. Also, please feel free to type in Doc Sherry in YouTube so you can have free access to my relaxing, healing music that will help you with your pain, promote relaxation, and help you promote better sleep. With that being said, let's continue with our discussion. Do you know that your sciatic nerve is the largest nerve in your body? It starts at the level of your lower back, splits to run through your hips, buttocks, legs, feet, and then your toes. Your sciatic nerve directly controls all the muscles of the back part of your thigh, legs, and foot. Besides controlling all these muscles to make your legs move, it also allows you to feel sensation on these areas and any injury, compression, and infection to this nerve will result to what we call as sciatica. Any previous injury or trauma to your lower back, such as when you directly fell on your buttocks, past surgery to your hips or spine after a fracture, conditions of the spine such as osteoarthritis and disc herniation, and even simply putting wallets in your back can cause sciatica. Pregnancy can also lead to sciatica as well as cigarette smoking, and consumption of high cholesterol and high sugar foods. If you have sciatica, you will feel pain usually on one side of your body, anywhere from your spine, cough, and your foot. You may also feel numbness, burning or sharp pain, which may come and go, weakness in the muscles of your legs, which may result to difficulty walking, and even decreased reflexes, especially in your ankle. You will also notice that certain movements like coughing and sneezing will make your symptoms worse, while lying down will make you feel better. You need to have yourself checked if you will experience worsening of your symptoms, difficulty walking or worsening weakness in your legs, if you have fever, and if you have loss of sensation when you urinate or defecate. You can use gabapentin for pain as needed and supplement with B-complex which is needed for nerve health. 
You can also use cold compress wrapped in a small towel on your lower back or on areas where you feel the numbness for 10 minutes. Exercises should also be incorporated in your daily routine. The aim of these exercises is to relieve the pressure or compression of your sciatic nerve. Since I have mentioned to you that varied spinal conditions can cause sciatica, it would be beneficial to know the cause of your sciatica, which can be confirmed on X-ray or MRI, for you to perform exercises specific for your needs. I have a separate video regarding low back pain, which you can click here for a more detailed instruction on how to do flexion and extension exercises specific for different causes of low back pain. You can watch this video since low back pain can lead to sciatica. But as a guide, let me help you. For sciatica caused by osteoarthritis and stenosis, do the flexion exercises indicated in the video. In doing your usual daily activities, avoid positions that will put your spine in extension, such as when you lurch backwards since this will make your symptoms worse. For sciatica caused by disc herniation, do the extension exercises as discussed in my previous video. You should avoid flexing your back forward since this will make your symptoms worse. For example, when you need to pick up something from the floor, do not bend your waist. Flex your knees instead and try to pick it up with your spine straight. You also need to do these stretches within your tolerance. Do these exercises gently and stop once you notice any increase of your symptoms. Do these exercises two times a day for several days because majority of my patients feel relief with doing these exercises. For pregnant women having sciatica, please consult any licensed physical therapist near you for a more detailed exercise program specific for your needs. If you have not undergone any x-ray and MRI and you don't know what's the cause of your sciatica, you can do these three stretches. These stretches are specific for your piriformis muscle, the muscle that can compress your sciatic nerve. Assume long sitting position. Place your ankle on the opposite knee as if doing the figure four, then gently pull your leg up with your opposite elbow. Maintain this position for 30 seconds, put your knee down, Repeat five times. Do this to the opposite side as well. Lie down. With one leg straight and one knee bent, use your other hand to bring your bent knee to the opposite side of your body as shown. Maintain this position for 30 seconds or as far as you can tolerate and repeat five times. Do this with the opposite leg. Lie down. With one leg straight, put your ankle on the opposite knee, then pull up gently by grasping the thigh where you put your ankle as shown. If you have difficulty doing this, you can use a belt to assist you in bringing your thigh up. In this position, you will feel the stretch on the opposite thigh or your opposite piriformis. Maintain this position for 30 seconds or as you can tolerate without pain then slowly progress repeat five times and do this to the opposite leg as well this is it for this video i hope that you find this video helpful one quick reminder sciatica is an affectation of your sciatic nerve there is no quick fix with sciatica so please do these exercises patiently and persistently and you will experience relief of your symptoms also try to avoid the positions that will exacerbate your symptoms as i have taught you a while ago should you have any questions please feel free to comment down below and i will surely get back on you should you want properly progressed treatment please contact any licensed physical therapist near you this is again doc sherry stay healthy and god bless you